Today is a big day. Today is the feast day of St. John Paul II. Maybe you have friends that are super excited. Maybe you're super excited. Or maybe you don't know anything about the guy and you're wondering what's the big deal. Here at The Culture Project, John Paul II is our biggest inspiration. So if you're one of those people that's wondering what's the big deal about this John Paul II guy, we'd love to introduce you to him. The guy that everyone's celebrating today started off as a young boy in Wadawas, Poland back in 1920 by the name of Karol Wojtyla. He grew up playing soccer, reading, playing with friends, you know, normal little boy stuff. But very early on, he had to deal with things that no little boy should have to experience. When he was eight years old, his mom died. When he was 13, his brother died of scarlet fever. And when he was 20, his dad died of a heart attack. It didn't get any better either. When he was 19, Nazi Germany invaded Poland and took away everything from the Polish people that made life beautiful. Music, art, theater. Universities were shut down and anyone who opposed the regime was put to death. In the midst of all this loss in Carol's life and all the darkness around him, he wanted to be a great light. So one day, he snuck through the dark streets of downtown Krakow, knocked on the door of the archbishop's residence, and entered the underground seminary. Eventually, he would be ordained a priest in 1946 and immediately became a source of joy for young people. He loved to go hiking and would invite college students on trips with him through the woods. They would climb mountains together and he would celebrate mass for them among the trees. His joy was boundless and it earned him the nickname, the Eternal Teenager. That youthful spirit followed him as a bishop and eventually, on October 16, 1978, Karol Wojtyla became Pope John Paul II. His first words to the world as Pope, be not afraid. This is a guy who had seen a lot and he was addressing a world that had just come out of two world wars and was wondering, what is the meaning of life? And the Pope answered, be not afraid because he said life with Christ is a wonderful adventure. An adventure would mark John Paul II's papacy. He traveled the world more than any other Pope had before him. He made 250 pastoral visits to 129 countries over the course of 27 years. It's probably not a stretch to say that he's probably the most seen man in human history. You see, John Paul II had this amazing ability to see everyone. He could be in a crowd of 100,000 people and each and every one of them would feel personally seen by him. For John Paul II, a meeting with another person was a meeting with Jesus himself. He knew that Christ was the answer to all of the human heart's problems. And he wasn't afraid to point other people to him, especially young people. He embodied what it meant to be a follower of Christ who was fully alive. He had seen so much darkness, he was real, but he never let the darkness overcome him. Rather, he sprung forth like a light, confident that with Christ there is no trial that is too difficult for us to bear. That despite whatever darkness we face in our own lives, Christ is waiting there with mercy and he has a great plan for our lives. John Paul II is a witness to hope, one that is sorely needed today. And his teachings ring out as fresh today as they did back then. And today, his words echo to the young people in the present, be not afraid. That is why people are excited today. Because St. John Paul II didn't settle for mediocrity, rather he called young people to greatness. If you enjoyed learning about St. John Paul II, then I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and give us a follow at any of the social media accounts linked below. All of our content is deeply rooted in the life and example of St. John Paul II, and we would love to walk with you on this great adventure that he has called the church out on. Do not be afraid to go out on the streets and into public places like the first apostles who preached Christ and the good news of salvation in the squares of cities, towns, villages. This is no time to be ashamed of the gospel. No time.